people. So the more you find out about the Memphis situation and the lynching of, of Nichols, Terry Nichols, who was buried today, you find out that police chief C.J. Davis had some real issues going on from her time in Atlanta, real dark and shady. Now, the Scorpion unit that she funded for Memphis has got shut down. She got relieved of her duties in Atlanta or some shady situations. And now this. And let's keep it a buck. If someone is operating and running situations, they dictate, they tell you what to do. They green light what to do. So you don't just do what you want to do. Unless, of course, it's green light. So somebody has authorized situations to be as such that they say, okay, this is what you're going, this is fine by me. She allowed the bullying tactics. She allowed the force. Let's keep it a bug. There was no cameras before, so you know this didn't happen before. It doesn't look good for a police chief to sit there knowing what didn't just happen. And, you know, I was talking about about uh, police, about Chief Davis in uh, Memphis, and I said, if she was wise and smart, she'd step down. This is beyond embarrassing because half the force, they did some go get charged for double. If I'm getting a charge, white cat getting a slap on the wrist, and a few of them just getting, they're getting so they, this is going a major overhaul and embarrassment and indictment. You know why it's so bad? Because it just, uh, um, uh, this happened a week and a half before Dr. King's birthday, holiday. And this is what you have. And she is accountable. When you do the digging and the research, which is out here on these streets, about her situation in Atlanta and how she handled the situation, there have been some rough ups in, in previous. And as a matter of fact, see, Atlanta had to settle the case. I mean, you know, when she was running and how she got let go and all this, uh, you know what they say, one time's a past, two's a pattern. And you see to see a pattern here. I would just say I don't trust her. And these cats were hoods. That was hood tactics. That wasn't police. That was hood. You see, that was extreme. And that was on her watch. So she should be held accountable, aiding the baiting. She should probably lose her job behind that. Well, definitely suspension, you know. I mean, she is responsible for that going down. And she sat there uh, with Don Lemon and was all, you know, like, oh, oh. but she knew that was under her watch. You see, you got to hold people accountable who are supposed to be leaders. You see, please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts and comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And uh, there's going to be more comes out of this. But the more you hear about her and you hear about those cops, uh, it don't look too good. I'm out.